What's up guys? This is Ricky Bush Racing. Uh, I just finished my second attempt on Ulton Park. The first one I got... I, I don't know. I crashed the first lap, so... Well, let's just say that people are way too optimistic about turn one and going in three wide into uh, the first corner. Uh, as you can see, I did a awful qualifying once again. Uh, I ran a slow lap the first lap, which is the time you can see on the screen here. And I tried to push on my second lap, but I fucked up in turn 3, I believe it was. So yeah, let's go racing here, guys. Enjoy! Well, let's just say I hope for a better outcome in turn 1 here than last time. I'm still alive, that's good. I'm still in seven. <coughs> this track feels like uh, feels a lot like Brands Hatch. I think they're the same companies that own uh, both tracks. It's a really fun track. It's just too narrow. It's almost impossible to uh, overtake someone on this track. Unless someone uh, screws up, of course. Which I probably will some... Sometime in the near future. Perfect. And I'm actually up to fourth. That guy's lagging. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> I have to let this guy go. Actually, pretty happy I saved that. And I'm not going to wide into this corner. And I overshot it. I love that part of the track. So fun. This is a really fun track. It uh, certainly demands all your attention once again. And I'm overdriving that every single time. Even in practice I did it almost every time. I'm a slow learner, I guess. So yeah, I did the one 25-9 in practice. Um, so I really want to keep my times down in the at least the 26 or low 27s. We will see how it goes. I actually built up quite the, uh, the gap to P6 here, almost 10 seconds. So that's good. Now I just need to catch the guys in front of me.
little bit better. 127.4. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did some practice on uh, Road Atlanta for the Proto GT in the Aston Martin DB1, the GT1 car, and I had never driven that track before, so it was hard. Uh, could be a lot of fun, though. I'll try to uh, to race it next week sometime, uh, someday. Aston Martin is a really fun car to drive. It's it's really bad at uh, sticking the power to the ground, though. Well, I get used to it, I guess. Uh, the roof challenge is also on Road Atlanta next week, so uh, yeah, I need, still need to learn the track, both in the uh, Aston Martin and the the roof here. I didn't go white for once. Uh, the good thing is, the guy in P6 is 15 seconds behind me now. The bad news is, I'm not catching the guys in front of me. least not by much. I gained like three tenths in just that corner. <laughs> I don't feel like passing this guy when he's lagging out. And I don't even know where he is. I'm breaking too late for that corner there. I should break earlier so I can get on the gas sooner. Hundred percent sure someone will spin out in that corner. It's like a slope, just uh, <laughs> uh, it's like a slope right after the corner. Uh, and if you get on the gas just a tiny bit too early, you, uh, you will spin. It's no, it's really hard to save it. I did it like a hundred times in practice. Maybe not a hundred, but ten times maybe. And I should really get better on checking my layouts and stuff uh, when I practice for, for these races. I practice on the right layout this time, but I... Uh, the track setting here is late afternoon and I practice for afternoon which really makes the world of difference because you have so much more grip, uh, grip in the late afternoon than you do uh, than you do on the uh, late afternoon uh, my lap times are over one and a half seconds faster in the late afternoon than the afternoon yeah, I'll try to think of that for next week. Well, I'm kind of keeping up with him, but I'm not gaining. Two seconds behind P4 now. really trying to push. Uh, but I don't want to make any mistakes either, so... Yeah, 
has a guy he's about to lap here. Uh, maybe that can slow him down. Them there. I think the I think Neil ran wide. I don't think he let him pass there. Well, this guy is kind of all over the road. I hope he let. Uh, let me pass. I don't want to get stuck behind him, or even worse, uh, worse, uh, crash into him, or something that will fuck up, uh, screw up my race. Bad exit. I went on the brakes too late again, which I so often did in practice too. Kind of hard uh, seeing your braking uh, points or braking references as to where you uh, as to where you should brake. The apex in the last corner. Uh, for me, at least, it's impossible uh, to make so many blind corners. It's so hard to see uh, where the uh, apex is. Yeah, I got lucky again. I've been so. so <laughs> So angry if I, if I ran into him there. Maybe that guy should just try to uh, maybe slow down a bit for the next lap uh, in turn two. So yeah, the hunt is on. 2.3 seconds ahead of me is Carlos. What? Yeah, he keeps lagging out of the relative uh, board also. Carlos Ivan Gomez Angel 2. Okay. There's no chance there's another guy that, uh, that has that name. Unless he maybe has two accounts. So yeah, now is the time for the fast lap times. First sector there, at least better than uh, than the last lap. So yeah, this is Alton, which has uh, quite a few different layouts. This is Alton without chicanes. Or no chicanes uh, on the track, which is the version or layout that I like. I think in the Blankpon uh, Sprint Series, 
and uh, they do uh, all time with check-ins. So I'll probably have to practice for that version uh, in the near future as well. We almost have the exact same pace. I have a yellow flag. Is that a guy in third? No. It's a guy who's about to be left. I'll take that, I'll take that. I think the guy, uh, the guy in P4 actually spun the guy he was lapping, not the other way around. Maybe wrong though. I'll gladly take it. Uh, P4. Don't think I'll be able to catch the guy in P3 though. It's 12 seconds ahead of me. I'll try to focus on keeping the guy behind me... Behind me. Hopefully... He took damage. Uh, the guy in fifth, uh, and he it will slow his pace down. Rather beautiful track in the sunset late afternoon setting. One of the better looking tracks in iRacing, in my opinion. As for the uh, visuals. I overdraw that. I'm guessing it took damage. Our friend Carlos. Yay, finally. Last lap. Well, it wasn't the most action packed race in the, in the last laps here. But yeah, it was fun. I'll try to bring my P4 home here. Salt, I'm actually pretty pleased with. It will be interesting to to see what the strength of field was for this race. I'm guessing it was rather low. Uh, my last chance, uh, my last try here had a strength of field around 1800, I believe. Uh, but I'm guessing this one will be lower, even though the qualifying times were faster uh, than they were last time. Our friend Carlos is 33 seconds behind us now. Definitely took damage. He's about to. Uh, uh, Maybe be passed by the uh, Thorsten. Yeah, good race. Good race. Uh, not a single incident, I believe. Which is uh, which is good, especially on this track, which uh, which is so narrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, bring in my wreck report as always in the end, uh, and I'll see you on Road Atlanta next time. Bye, guys.
Shoot.